Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about gram staining procedure. Gram staining is performed to distinguish between gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Gram positive bacteria are stained purple. Gram positive bacteria are stained purple due to the presence of thick layer of peptidoglycan in their cell walls and hence they can retain the crystal violet. Whereas gram negative bacteria, they are stained red, which is due to the presence of thinner peptidoglycan wall in gram negative bacteria and hence they cannot retain the crystal violet during the decoloring process. Okay, so gram positive bacteria are stained purple, whereas gram negative bacteria are stained red in gram staining procedure. So then what are the different steps involved in gram staining procedure? The first step is the addition of crystal violet, which is the primary stain, okay, to the uh, specimen samir. So, and then what is done? So, the crystal violet is added to the specimen samir and it is allowed to stand for about one minute. So, by the end of this step, gram positive bacteria, they appear purple, as well as gram negative bacteria also appear purple. So, in the next step, the step number two is the addition of iodine. This mordant makes the dye less solu soluble so it adheres to the cell wall. After the addition of iodine, it is let to stand for about one minute. So by the end of this step, gram-positive bacteria, they appear purple, whereas gram-negative bacteria also appear purple. So then in the third step, what is done? The decolorizing agent such as alcohol is added. Then what it does, alcohol washes away stain only from gram-negative bacteria, not from gram-positive bacteria, okay? Alcohol washes away stain only from gram-negative cell walls, not from gram-positive cell walls. So alcohol is added, let it stand for about 10 seconds. By the end of this uh, step, gram-positive bacteria, they appear purple, whereas gram-negative bacteria, they become colorless. And in the final step, which is uh, the safranin step, a uh, counter staining with safranin is done that allows adherence of safranin to the gram negative cell walls. Okay, so what is done? Safranin, uh, safranin is added and it is let to stand for about one minute. So by the end of this step, then what happens? That gram negative bacteria, they appear red because they take up the color of the safranin, whereas gram positive bacteria still appear purple. So by the end of uh, the gram staining procedure, the gram positive bacteria are stained purple, whereas gram negative bacteria are stained red.